Right, 2019, higher level uh, materials technology wood, section A, first tools shown here, name it, marking gauge, used to mark lines parallel to the edge of the wood. Uh, name the edge moulding that's shown as a chamfer. One appropriate way of making this would be with a chisel, block plane, uh, or a router, using a chamfer bit. The diagram shows a commonly common type of hinge. Uh, name of the hinge is a rising butt hinge. You can see the spiral or the helix there. To raise a door, uh, the reasons for it or why you'd use a specific hinge is to raise the door when it's opening or that it's self closing. It actually can lift off as well. And uh, name of the tools shown, it's a pincers used for pulling nails. Maybe not so much cutting wire, but maybe stripping wire, but it would do as an answer. What do the letters CAM stand for? Computer Aided Manufacture. And then give one advantage of using CAM to generate a prototype. It's accurate, uh, it's, very, uh, it's fast, uh, it's great for reproduction and it's safe. Then the board shown has become distorted across its width. So I just sketched this in to show that. What's the distortion called? It's cupped or it's cupping and uh, what causes the board well it's uneven shrinkage it's, if you imagine the center of the wood it shrinks away from the center of the wood then the next one here it says the image shows a wooden stand for personal items um, it, uh, the wood surface has some indents and requires some filling prior to the to finishing prior to finishing is the key thing here it says identify five steps in the correct sequence that would, should be followed when surface finishing artifacts so if there's large pieces need cleaned up you would be planing the pieces then after you've planed them you would fill it uh, any holes or indents in it then you would sand this the holes or indents that have been filled and then you would dust it down at the end and you would apply white spirits now that's a tricky one there um because it's quite open but that's the sequence anyway the diagram shows the tip of a chisel it says what are the correct names for the angles labeled at A and B. So it's the grinding angle, 20 25 degrees, and then the sharpening angle, or sometimes called the honing angle as well. Any of those would do. Question nine, name the, the trees based on the leaves, sycamore, holly, beech, poplar, and horse chestnut. Very distinctive leaves of each of those. No issues there. Uh, what's the method of wood preparation called here from based on this diagram? Well, there's the knife. It's a rotary. It's rotating. It's rotary knife or rotary cutting, and it's a uh, cutting a veneer. Give one use for this thin layer of wood. Well, veneering, decorative work. It's an economical use of hardwoods when you veneer. Uh, name the tools shown as G cramp. Uh, what's it used for? Holding pieces when you're working on them or gluing an assembly of pieces. Then the image shows a wire of a three pin plug, state the correct color uh, of each wire. So it's brown for, for the live, blue for the neutral, and then yellow, green. And I've colored them in just to highlight that. What is the function of the fuse? Well, in safety, in case of overload, it cuts, disconnects the, the part going to the, the two. Uh, the bakery display case is uh, shown made from wood and acrylic, the machine shown as used to bend acrylic right okay so this is the wee project and you've got the acrylic it's a strip heater bender is what the machine is or a strip heater uh, then you have to take whether it's a, a, a acrylic is thermal setting or thermoplastic and it's a thermoplastic because you can reshape it again then calculate the moisture content uh, and percentage of a piece of seasoned wood Given the following, you're given the weight, the wet, wet weight, dry weight. So the wet weight minus the dry weight over the dry weight multiplied by 100 over 1 gets you your percentage. So 21 minus, or uh, 21.6 minus 20 is 1.6. 1.6 over 20 is 0 0.08 multiplied by 100 over 1, which gives you 8%. Name the woodworking machine shown, a bandsaw. What's the function of the part labeled A? It's the tensioner, you tension the the, the blade sometimes they might necessarily always be there but uh, the tension of the blade and then state one specific safety precaution that should be observed when using the machine so wearing a, a safety glasses dust mask any of that there never try to adjust the machine while it's working so stop stop it to adjust it 
Uh, Cardistrel, correct name for the turning force is Tark or Tarshan. You have your sentence on the on the drill for the Tark sentence. Name one other force, tension, compression, shear. Any of those will do. Right, we have to go about the setting out of um, the dovetail halving joint. So again, uh, my approach to this would be to just draw an end waist to start off with. I'm sketching this. You can you can use a, a, a set square if you wish. Make sure they're vertical lines and kind of matching the slope that's outside. So I've got two now. Um, there's a couple of ways I can go about this here. I could, uh, depending on which way I want to turn this here, um, I, I'll draw. I'll just go with drawing the 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 tail part on this side, and then on this one here. I could probably have left that a wee bit longer, and made three squares out of that there to make it probably closer to what I would need. Yeah, that might be a wee bit better. So now I'm going to just draw the sloping part here and here, and then it's the only to go halfway, and then I need a halfway line as well here. So I'm losing out my face edge each time I'm drawing these here. I have to rethink these. I should think about them before I draw them. You don't have. It's not necessary to draw this in pen. I'm just drawing it in pen to make it stand out a wee bit better. That's all. And it's all done freehand here. Again, you can use your set squares when you're doing this here. It's not necessary. Probably take a wee bit of time to get up to speed like that there, but I've had a good bit of practice of doing this kind of thing. So there's your your uh, dovetail halving joint. Question eighteen, uh, using the tech. Uh, hardwood, softwoods, birch is hard, softwoods, three softwoods, then Norway spruce, large cedar, and then a hardwood. Not a particularly good one now, but a. Uh, Hardwood nonetheless, then they label the parts, headstock, tool rest, tailstock, the bed, and then your on off switch, pretty straightforward. And uh, zoom out for this here, we've got uh, a trellis or table type stand with a tuss tenon thing in it and it's screwed together, we're told all materials 18 millimeters thick it's uh, some sort of a bench assembly so complete the cutting list so they're highlighted here then here first vertical sides nice easy one you've to add the two of these to get the vertical side which is 244 and 100 then the horizontal rail then is here 850 the wedge is out on the end view which is 60 and then the brass screws here there's two two is four on that side and then you have the two sides which is um, eight and then you have this distance from here to here uh, for the rail it's shown there uh, so you see there is 850 so 850 and it's 40 in from the end to get to that particular point so you have 40 in from both ends so that's 80 80 from 850 is 770 and that is the 2019 